today is about Ginger and I resolving a bunch of unfinished business when it comes to balloons, Mentos and Coke, and a giant balloon full of Orbeez. I have ran back to the store. I've got a bunch of Mentos. I've got Diet Coke. I've got a Shiba Inu puppy dog over here keeping watch on things. And I have a whole bin full of balloons, a fish tank, we've got a swimming pool. But what I don't have is good results from one of my experiments. In fact, I don't have a lot of good results on a lot of my good experiments and I wanna find out what happens. This time we did anything with Mentos and Coke, I built a device where I had Coke on the bottom, an aluminum foil layer in between, and Mentos in a jug on the top that I was gonna squeeze through the aluminum foil layer and try to get the reaction. I tried to do that in the swimming pool underneath the water to see what would happen. I have a lot more cooler experiments that I wanna try and I wanna revisit that to see if I can get it work today. Let's see what happens in three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> whoa! Oh my gosh! You're not gonna believe this! In the guest house, we did also a last to let go video to see who would be last to let go of a giant water balloon full of Orbeez and it survived. And so I have some experiments that I wanna do with that as well. But first I wanna come over here to the mystery weird neighbor house, see what Ginger's up to. We've been remodeling this house next door. Haven't vlogged it in a while. A lot of you guys have asked about it. So I thought I'd come over here and show you guys what Ginger's been up to. The whole house has been painted on the outside now. We bought this next door neighbor house and we've decided to flip it because one of the things that Ginger does is a lot of real estate investing, Airbnb, house flipping, remodeling, uh, a bunch of cool lifestyle and investment stuff. So these are all the white cabinets and everything is coming along. Uh, the garage is still a mess in here. We should check out what's inside. Uh, I think Ginger's downstairs. She's with some of the construction guys and they're measuring out different doors, but the ceiling has been done in texture, can lights, are going in a bunch of cool stuff here i'll see it when ginger comes upstairs how much she wants to show you but if you really want to see it you got to go check her out on instagram because she's doing the whole thing on her instagram stories and uh, all of our family has cool instagrams you got to go check them out what's up everybody uh definitely going hardcore at the remodel today uh let me show you what we're doing in the kitchen in order for the microwave and the range to work we had to um, build this custom cabinet so we bought a regular 12 inch cabinet from Home Depot. We just altered it a little bit to fit and match the original cabinets. You cannot tell that that cabinet was not original here with the house. Even the doors, we took some doors off of one of the cabinets that we weren't gonna reuse and just made it to fit this cabinet and it just looks so good. So we had some touch-ups that needed to be done. So they're actually spraying the touch-ups and that is all looking so good. We had a seam right here because this cabinet, actually we had to custom fit and make shift out of a Home Depot cabinet to, to match the rest of these because, so the kitchen's getting really close. All of the electrical's done. We put in the last light. This last light we put in right here. Once we got the um, other can lights, you can see they've been popped out because we're painting the ceiling but um, we put in another light right above the sink because it was just like a little bit dark here. So I had him come back and we added that. And then um, we have some really cute light fixtures that are gonna go in that I'm waiting to install those because you guys have to wait because I don't want to show you them until the big reveal. We just want to say some of the details for the big reveal and for some other um, really cool things that I have going and that I'm really excited to show you guys. This is gonna be a big project in more than just the house. I'll just say that. Kitchen is looking amazing and it's gonna have white quartz countertop and it's gonna have like a really awesome flooring that's been picked up. Ginger's got it all figured out. Oh my gosh, it's all come together. If you guys haven't followed the progress of this house, you'd be amazed. It started out, everything was just brown and yellow and outdated. This house hadn't been touched since like the 1960s or something. So Ginger has come in here and really brought it back to life and the before and afters are pretty amazing. Oh hey, here's Ginger. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? Look at this it? giant mess, do you look, like it? It doesn't look like a mess now, it looks so much better. It's coming together. The kitchen is what looks the most put together, even though it looks like this still. Yeah. But it's come a long way, so. It really looks nice. Anything else you want to show them really quick? Um, yeah, Progress you guys want a sneak peek at the master bathroom? Definitely. Okay, come here. 
I don't want to show you guys too much, but here's a little sneak peek. Look at the floor. <gasps> it's so pretty. It's getting put in right now as we speak. It's all getting installed in this. The vanity. Okay, Carl. This is for before and after photos. Right, so this is technically still the before. Yes. This is the second bathroom. Um, this cabinet actually was here before and we just um, refinished it. And the guys did such a great job. This is like as smooth as brand new cabinets. And then this is going to be all tiled as well. Is it going to be red like this? No. It's not? No, it's just a paint. <laughs> this is just part of the waterproofing. Right, and, so so. The, and also so they can put the mortar and stuff on for the tile and everything. Yeah. Right? So that's so this cool. Will be, this will be a white tile as well. It's actually this. Cool. This is the size of tiles, so this is like a four by six. Yeah. So that'll be so pretty. We're going to be doing a lot more cool lifestyle stuff, home improvement. Ginger's got a lot of cool stuff she's going to be doing over on her channel, actually. There's a lot of reasons for that, and I'll explain that right now. Isn't the house awesome? Ginger's doing an amazing job with it. We'll keep you guys updated if you're interested. Just so you know, there's been a lot of changes recently on YouTube with the policies and also in our life and everything like that. And so we're going to be doing a lot of more filming that's just Ginger and I doing fun different things that we want to do and fun for the whole family. It's also simply because it's the school year, the kids are back in homeschool, and so we want them to be able to focus on their education, all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of Ginger and I doing a lot of fun stuff for the whole family, not necessarily just content for kids. We wanna do stuff for everybody. So hopefully everyone in your family can enjoy this. We will always stay family friendly, but we are not going to be only just kids content. I don't know though, you tell me who does not wanna see this get dropped out of the window again or ran over by the truck. Not to mention, look at this. Ugh. Lift with my legs. Jeez, I gotta lift with my legs. Who doesn't in the world want to find out what happens when this giant water balloon full of Orbeez gets ran over by the truck? I think we should totally do that today. In a recent video, we tried to see who would be the last to let go uh, hanging on to giant water balloons full of Orbeez. This one actually survived. It's a seven foot water balloon. It's full of water and it's got a bunch of Orbeez inside of it. And I just think it would be awesome to see what happens if we drove over top of it with the truck. I mean, who wouldn't want to know that? Check this out as well, you guys. Uh, for those of you that like listening to podcasts, I'm going to put a link. <laughs> Maybe not yet. I have a YouTube channel already set up uh, for me to go do my podcast on. I just haven't quite started yet, but check it out. This is my podcast room. Uh, I'm figuring out, I've been experimenting with different cameras and what I want to do here, but I just need to figure out the cameras. I think I've got a couple of things ordered in the mail to finish it. And then podcast starts where I'm going to be talking about stuff that I'm interested in uh, as who I really am, meditation, thoughts on consciousness, success, life optimization, finding true peace and happiness. What is it in life that you're trying to arrive to? What is it that gets you up every day and makes you get up and do what you do? Where are you trying to get? When will you arrive? I wanna talk about all of that so we can get there together. to that uh, before, before you can react and you will never see it coming. <laughs> That's really like cool. I need to make a D&D &D character. Are really talking like about uh, superpowers right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we talk about all the time. Really. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Work? You talking about stuff that matters? Like, this is what Boring. Like anyway. Let's talk about adult stuff, Gage. Blah, 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 boring, boring, boring. Make the leap, pretend, pageant time. Blah, 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 blah. Taxes, taxes, bills, bills. Bills, 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 numbers, numbers, pretend, pretend. Okay, pretend, let's have fun. Pretend, pretend, pretend. Pretend, pretend, pretend. Hmm. What was it there? The Demogorgon. These have, these have, mom, these have toxicity. What even? Mom, these have toxicity. <laughs> what? Oh, because they're a toy thing. They have, like, food coloring in it. I don't know. What are we doing? What's know. happening? <laughs> okay, uh, Coca Mentos. Yeah! You're clear, Lila Doggo. Watch out, Lila. The first experiment that we are going to test out here in our big fish tank is bunch of balloons, Mentos and Coke, which we are the creators of. We were like the first ones ever on the internet to do that. But this time, we're gonna do a bunch of balloons, Mentos and Coke, underwater. underwater. Look at this, how awesome is that? It looks so cool. No you diet feel, Coke, Lila. Do you feel like letting some of it out actually helps the reaction well i think what it does is it gives you a tad bit more time before that's right it comes 
So, Ow. yeah, we've already <laughs> devised this method as well where we have scotch tape on the mentos. So it basically hangs right in the edge right there like that. And then you put the bunch of balloons on top. And then all you have to do is like unscrew it a little bit and then put it back on and go in the tank. Just in case you accidentally drop it in there. Because that does happen Okay. Sometimes. Hopefully we can get this on. All right. Okay. Okay, I think we got it. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, let's see what happens in three, two, two one, one, go. go. <laughs> what the heck? Whoa! It's actually Look at this. working. You can see all of the um, Diet Coke coming into the balloons. Oh, it's shoot. filling them up. That's so crazy. Whoa! From the top, it looks really weird. Do you think the balloons are pushing the Coke back into the bottles? I think so. It actually looks pretty clear, like it didn't do a whole lot. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Can you get it out of there? Whoa! <laughs> that actually looks really cool. That looks really cool. Oh, look, you can see it. You can see it pouring in there. Look at that. Diet Coke and Mentos balloons. That is weird. And then what's cool awesome. is you can take them off. Oh shoot. And then you can throw them at people. <laughs> All right, next up, I think I want to experiment and try to do, uh, what should we do? Let's do a giant balloon full of Mentos. We've got a see-through balloon. We'll dunk that under the water and see how it compares to the bunch of balloons. I just wanted to remind you guys to make sure and take the poll up in the iCards uh, if you haven't already and let us know which one of these experiments is your favorite. And also make sure and follow us over on Instagram when we post about this video. You can let us know down in the comments over there what type of Mentos and Coke experiments we should do next. And don't forget to turn on notifications and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, are we ready? Yeah. Here's the balloon. Let's get a we giant gotta get ball some tape, here. Right? We've got some right here and let's do it. So basically this is gonna be the same thing as the last time, only we're gonna just do it with a balloon. The Mentos are already inside the balloon and it's a good see-through one. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna put a zip tie around it as well to try and hold it all together. I think this one's gonna be better than the bunch of balloons because the Coke had to go up the straws into the balloon and right. I think that would hold it back, you know? Right, so hopefully everything just goes right into the balloon and that's it. We've just been sitting here watching this balloon fill with carbonation <laughs> and there's Mentos in there and I'm just waiting for it to go pop the zip and to tie, go off by itself. The zip tie that I got was too small, but I've got a good one now, so I'm gonna go around this so it doesn't pop off and then we can go for it. If Next. this actually works, maybe we should try this in the swimming pool and do like a really... I have to revisit it and really go maybe. for it. <laughs> it's time for Mentos and Coke in the balloon right now. Are you ready? Yes, let's okay. do it. I'm gonna put the Mentos in there and then dunk it under the water and we'll see what happens. I could probably go under the water right now with it, huh? Yeah. Let's try. No Coke has got in the balloon yet. Let's see what happens here, ready? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! It's totally just filled up to the top. Look at that. Wow! That totally worked. It's still trying to go. It's, it's trying good. to, the air is trying to escape. It's trying to replace with the Coca-Cola. It whoa. totally filled up. Look at this, I'm gonna take it out now. Whoa! Well, it's got a little hole in it now. Oh shoot. It's starting to leak out everywhere. I'm just gonna bring it over the lawn. That was totally a success. It totally worked. Look, it totally filled worked. up. You could see the whole thing happen. It filled up with uh, Coke and Mentos and went to the top. Having the see-through balloon, that was really that cool, was right? That was way cool. Look at that. Oh. I just wanna chuck it. Don't you can you wanna... chuck it the other way. I won't throw it at you. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird sound. The sound it made is <laughs> Oh! Well, that was really cool. Should we do uh, a let's, let's do, do a launcher. Should we do a launcher? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. For this next experiment, we're actually gonna use a mini bottle of Diet Coke and we're gonna launch it like a rocket into the air. We're not gonna show you exactly how we do this. We just wanna show you what happens. Check this out. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Nothing happened. In three, two, one. Nothing. Is it too hot out here? I don't maybe, know. Maybe it's too hot because it has to do with the temperature reaction. <laughs> We've literally just ran out here and very excitedly dumped 
four mini Diet Cokes on the ground. Darn it! That didn't work at all. Something was not right. I think it's how hot it is out here. It's like 102 degrees out here today, and I think it has to do with the quick temperature exchange causing the reaction, and we just can't get it. It's too hot! Do you know how Carl just said uh, we were moving on? No, no, no. We're not moving on. We have to try it one more time, and he is just going to give it one more good shot. All right, Carl, you ready? I probably already ruined it. What? Nothing! <laughs> it doesn't work. What a joke! It didn't work. <laughs> it, Science experiment <laughs> failed. None of that worked. We just dumped like five out of a six pack. It's a waste of Diet Coke. We're not doing that one again. Somebody order a seven foot water balloon full of Orbeez? Me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. All right, so I have to get this thing out onto the hot pavement without popping it. Uh, and then you want to jump in the truck and drive over it? Yeah. Or should I just jump in and drive over it? No, Whatever. I'll do it. Okay, there you go. I got to lift this out. <laughs> okay. And get it into the position. This might here. be the most epic thing we've done in a while. Ugh. Oh, Doesn't is that even... like a million pounds? It is really heavy. It's like a stork carrying a baby. <laughs> A little baby Orbeez okay. balloon. It's actually really big. It is a giant Orbeez balloon. Look at this thing. It's right there. Okay, yes. we ready? Yeah, let's do it. I think we've got it. All right, Ginger's gonna hop in the truck. This is gonna be really interesting. I bet that it pops. Giant Orbeez water balloon crushed by the truck. This is an interesting experiment. Faster, slow. slow. Okay, three, two, one, go. Nice and easy. Keep going. Oh, oh my gosh! You're not gonna believe this! What? It survived! No way! It survived! I can't believe it. Okay, go back. What? It totally survived. That is impossible! Back up over it again. This is the world's most durable balloon. It did have a little pinhole. What? That is so weird! It totally survived! <laughs> it got drove over by the truck twice. Okay, I think now we're gonna get more direct contact. I moved the balloon further under the tire. Let's see if we can get this thing to burst. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Nothing! It still survived! What in the world is happening right now? I this don't know. The balloon is possessed or something. It doesn't make any sense. Go back over slow again and then we'll go forward fast. Look at this. Oh my gosh. How is this thing not popping? It's so bizarre. It's a giant indestructible balloon that will never pop. I can't, I don't believe it. Now I say that you just kind of go fast. Okay, just right? straight over it. Just roll okay. right over top real okay. fast. We'll see if it can keep up. Three, two, one, go! Nothing! You still didn't do anything! Okay, stop me when I'm right on top of it. Then you're gonna get out while it's parked on. Yeah. Okay, okay, back up. She's gonna back up and then park on it. Hang on. Stop! Get out and look at this thing! It still hasn't even popped. What in the world? That doesn't make any sense at all. Nothing. Look, you can definitely see all the Orbeez. Look at that. Jump on it. It's the un indestructible. Whoa! Oh, there it goes. There, you got it. Okay. We finally popped it. It took an entire truck and Ginger jumping on top of it in order to pop this thing on the hot pavement. Can you believe that? That is crazy. I thought for sure the first time we drove over it, it would just go. I know. You guys, if you guys thought that that was going to pop right away, you were totally wrong. I can't believe it. I don't even know what else to do. That's so surprising. Here's 
weirdly enough, the bunch of balloons is still the one that worked the best, I think. That and the balloon with the Mentos and Coke totally worked out of all the experiments. The balloon underneath the truck tire didn't even pop. I didn't expect that at all. We have the one experiment that I really wanna revisit again another time. We have two bottles hooked together with the little membrane in between and try to get that reaction underneath the deep end of the pool. We'll see if we do that in another video, I don't know. If you like this video, you're gonna like the other ones that you see on screen. Make sure and check them out. We picked them just for you guys and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye. I don't know what we should do next time. <laughs>